Cheers. It's disappointing, you know, I got so close. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I've learnt so much from this experience, you know. Um, I'm leaving this with my head held high, you know, got to the final, you know. It's just, it's just amazing to think how far I've come. I came here to prove my business mind, my business acumen, intuition and skills, and that's what I did. I may have fallen slightly short the last hurdle here but that doesn't mean that it's the end for me I'm going to keep on working and I'm going to be a success in business the thing that, that, that impressed me last night quietly and silently is I wasn't looking at them I was looking at the audience and the reaction to some of the questions and answers coming back from the boys um, you know, they were impressed. Well, it's interesting. Dynamic you know, we, duo. Arjun, we <laughs> said, Lord Sugar has said, is, is, a, is calculator man, but he turned into creative man yeah. in this process. A lazy, a, a commercial. lazy Tim. Not anymore. A real tough one, but we'll call him in shortly and I'll um, have to decide. Tough choice. Very difficult. Hello. Yeah, would you send the two of them in, please? Yes. Thank you. Lord Sugar, we'll see you now. Well, gentlemen, at the end of the day, it's always been about the £25,000 that's been set aside for you to use in your career. And one of you is going to pick that prize up. Let me start off by saying that that last task was exceptional. And you don't hear those words in this boardroom very often. In no particular order, let's start with Arjun, only because your name begins with A. Where do you think you've shown me throughout the course of this process that you're not just a, you know, an academic, a boff, so to speak? Um, I think that throughout this entire process, I have been instrumental in making those wins. I did that camping pitch with 10 minutes of preparation and we managed to secure a massive order. I think that that alone shows that I am willing to work so hard for something like this. Next task was cupcakes. I know it's going to sound like not much to you, but I was wearing that cupcake out for four hours and I did, I wasn't just wearing it, I was working from within it, I was making orders, I was giving people leaflets, trying to do as much as possible, wearing a ridiculous costume, if I may say so myself. Then the art task, I sold a £2,850 painting that night, the biggest sell of the night, and I think that that sort of versatility shows that I can mould to different situations, I can do so many different things. And I'm, I'm not going to say I'm the finished package, but to be perfectly honest, I don't think you're looking for the finished package in this process. You're looking for someone with the potential to be the finished package. And I think that I have that potential. I do have the drive and the determination to work in this environment, and I can thrive in it. We could paraphrase it that you've gone from calculus to cupcakes, so to speak. Hmm. Tim, I should imagine that from shearing sheep as you've done in the past, you never expected one day to be presenting water uh, to a bunch of professionals. It might shock you to, re to know that I only packed my bag for one week. I didn't think I was staying. I, was, I felt lucky to be here. What's really come out when I've gone through this process is that I have this massive natural ability, yet I didn't realise it and I didn't have the confidence to push it. You know, in the first task, I came up with the credit crunch bunch, but didn't know how to push it forwards. And throughout the whole process, I've learned how to put my ideas forward. You know, in this one, I came up with the entire brand. And I think I really managed to push it through. And everything that I wanted was realised at the end. This prize fund would enable me to learn more and carry realise my dreams and my potential. Mm. Tell me something. 
Before you came along here, remind me of the enterprising ducking and diving things that you've done in your past. Well, basically, I set out, and I think I was nine when I started working in my next door in the schools. And I, I worked and worked every single night after school. I'd go straight over and get working. I'd earn a five, five pounds a night doing that. And then I got a job on a farm. And I'd be doing 16-hour days at the age of 11, you know. In Easter holidays, I'd be at the farm for a week, just lambing sheep and staying up all night. It's a lot of hard work for not a lot of reward, although the reward comes when you see, I know it sounds stupid, when you see that lamb born and you raise it. And it is quite a rewarding process, but really money is what drives me. And Arjun, uh, how about some of your shenanigans? I run a technical solutions business from home. I go around, I fix people's computers, I take them round to my house and fix them. Um, I'm very extracurricular when it comes to school. I'm a senior prefect. I, I have to hold multiple roles of responsibility all at the same time. I'm so determined when it comes to something that I really want, and I really want this. Gentlemen, you leave me with an almost impossible dilemma. So I'm going to... Um, kind of go through the way I see it, yeah. Arjun, um, I've spoken of your uh, apparent soft nature, your clear academic qualifications, my concerns about you adapting and trying to show that you can actually come up with that seed and spark of an idea that is needed in business. Tim, you started off, we were a bit concerned about you here, to be honest with you. There were times when I was really tossing up in my mind whether you should be on your way home. It's a, a tough choice. And I'm not going to worry about the runner-up because I know that the runner-up is going to succeed anyway. But because there has to be one winner. Arjun, you're the winner of Junior Apprentice 2010. Well done, mate. Thanks. Well done. Cheers. Thank you, everybody. That is, it's been an amazing opportunity, and I, you know what? I can't thank you more. I can't believe I'm the first junior apprentice. I mean, it's absolutely mind blowing. It hasn't even set in yet, and. Tim was like the greatest opponent anybody could have ever wanted, but I just can't wait to go home and tell my parents, and they're so proud of me, so ecstatic, and just to think the amount of opportunities this will open up for me, it's just been so amazing. 28,000 applicants, 10 candidates, one winner. Lord Sugar has found the first junior apprentice. If you've missed any of the...